Hey everybody, I'm Bill from Tiny House Prepper and we've had this uh, Lear truck cap on our truck for several months now including a coast to coast trip and back. So I thought I would take this video to do a review of the, of the uh, Lear truck cap and let you know what I think about it. Tiny House Prepper. So why did we put this cap on the back of the truck? Well, the main reason is because of this bicycle right here. You see, we're gonna be starting to tour on the road, pulling a travel trailer with our truck, and we wanted to take this bicycle along. This is called a Rans Screamer. We absolutely love this bike. We wanna be able to ride as we travel. So we wanna be able to take this along with us. Now we could put it on, the, on a bicycle mount on the back of the trailer, there's a couple reasons that I don't want to do that. One is because this is eight and a half feet long. Legally, if I carried it sideways along the back of the trailer, it's a wide load. It's more than eight feet. I would have to put flags on it and all that kind of stuff, which just seems kind of silly. But the other thing is that this is a very expensive bicycle. And two things. One, I don't want it exposed to the weather, especially when you're driving in the rain. I don't want all that road grunge on it. And the other is I don't want it exposed to sticky fingers. I don't want it to walk away. It's an expensive bike. So I wanted to keep it inside somehow. So I got this truck with an eight foot bed. This is an eight, eight and a half feet long. With the eight foot bed, the, the bicycle will actually fit in there diagonally without any problem. So I put the cap on it to keep it out of the weather and to keep it out of prying eyes. It won't really be noticed inside there. Nobody will even know that we have it. So. We'll be able to carry it along with us as we travel with our travel trailer for extended trips out west and up in Canada and wherever we go. And we'll be able to take this out and ride with us, ride, ride it whenever we want to, wherever we go. That was the main reason that I wanted the cap on the trailer, on the truck. Another reason that I wanted to get this cap was because I knew I was going to be making that trip to California to pick up that stuff for my mother. For my mother-in-law and I wanted to get the tall one so that I would make sure that I had enough room to carry everything that I needed. I just got back from California and as you can see I was just able to fit everything in here. There's a china cabinet and a dresser in here and some a whole bunches of boxes of heirlooms and my mattress on the top that I slept on on the way out, my spare tire. But, uh, you know, I didn't have to lash, lash anything down, tie anything down, put tarps, any, anything like that. I just put it in there and it stayed nice and self-contained. I really liked how well it worked. Everything's nice and dry and safe. This wouldn't have fit if I had gotten a lower one. I know this back window is pretty dirty. I live near a dirt road. I can't keep it clean. <laughs> anyway, there's a third light, a third brake light right up here. It works well. It's got LED lights in it. And they wired it into the brake light so it works. There's also an interior light right up here. You just push the button and it turns on. It works well. The only problem with it is that it's wired into the tail lights, so it only works if the lights are on, if the tail lights are on. There's no hot wire back here that's always hot, so there's no way for them to wire it up so it's always hot unless they would run an extra wire all the way up to the battery. They don't do that, they just wire it into the tail lights. So if you want to, the, the light to be on if you're loading at night, you got to have your, your lights on in the truck. Of course you can always wire it, uh, hot wire it to the battery if you want, but that's a different operation and Lear doesn't do that. I also got another option which is the the headliner inside of here. Um, I don't remember how much it cost because when I got it they had a special promotion going on. If you bought one during that month you got a free headliner in it, but I think it was somewhere in the neighborhood of a hundred to hundred and fifty dollars. I think it's good. I like it a lot. As you can see it's sort of a cloth that's glued on there. Now I assume that if I didn't have this, it would just be bare fiberglass in there. So it looks a lot nicer. And also it might add a little bit of insulation property to help keep a little bit cooler when the sun's blazing on it. I don't know for sure. 
but at any rate I like it it makes it gives it a real finished look as opposed to just bare fiberglass now Lear has very good warranty on their truck caps and it's a good thing because I've had two issues with this one they've already taken care of the other they're going to take care of tomorrow the first one I already mentioned if you watched my video when we first initially purchased this I talked about it there but after they installed this the opening for this door was too narrow here at the bottom and when the door closed it wouldn't close all the way so the guy at the shop where he installed it he had to take the door the, the, the window out and he had to cut the opening here just a little bit wider he only took about a quarter of an inch off of each one right down here at the bottom over there and over here once he did that he put the window back in and now it fits perfectly closes nice and tight perfect fit so I'm very happy with the fix that he did right there in the shop when I purchased it the other problem is that there are windows on the side that open and they have screens in them and one of them doesn't latch properly let me show you that now on this side the driver's side you can see that the window opens slides nice and easily and when you close it it latches right there this lock goes over here and it locks it shut now let's look at the other side the passenger side notice that the window is all the way closed but this doesn't latch on here this bar here right here that has this hook on it the bar is set back too far it needs to be moved forward just a little bit more so that this latch will hook on the outside so I had this for about a week before I discovered the problem because every time I would drive the window would start to slide forward and it would be open a couple of inches in the back if it would rain then the rain would come in that's how I discovered the problem so I called the Lear shop explained it to him and I figured he would just take out this rivet and move it forward a little bit and put the new screen in but he said no they're just uh, installing or ordering an entire new window from Lear so they did that <laughs> They ordered a whole new window and he called me the other day and uh, it's in so I have an appointment tomorrow and he's going to go and uh, completely replace the entire window hopefully with a latch that works properly. Now I just got back from that trip from California. It's a 6,000 mile trip there and back to get all that stuff for my mother-in-law. Unfortunately he was not able to fix this before I left. So what I had to do was I took electrical tape this happens to be bright orange. I took electrical tape right here to keep the window shut so that it wouldn't open and it wouldn't get the stuff inside wet. There were a couple of times where I slept inside when I had the mattress there before I loaded all the stuff in there and I wanted to open the window for ventilation. I just tore the tape off and opened the window and it worked fine. The next day I closed it and put more tape on there to keep it uh, closed and watertight and it worked fine. But now that I'm back from the trip the guy's going to fix it. Hopefully that should take care of it and I won't have to use this anymore. This was kind of a pain, but it worked fine. So I'm very happy with how the whole thing turned out. Something that I did when I bought this was I, I ordered an optional removable window. This is the window between the, the cap and the front cab of the truck. See, the problem is that there's only a couple of inches between this window and the window in the back of the truck. And if, it gets, if those windows get dirty, especially in the winter, all that grunge gets up in there, there's no way to get in there and clean that window. So I think I paid about an extra hundred bucks or something like that. I don't remember for sure. To get this removable window so I can take it out. I can clean the, the window from the cab. I can clean this side of the, of the cap window and then put it back in. and everything will be nice and clean. So, 
I think that's a really cool feature. Also, if I'm sleeping in here in the back, I can take that window out for extra ventilation. I would have to rig some kind of a screen around it, but that's doable. So that's something that I would recommend if you get a Lear truck cap. That's a freaking tight one. So as you can see, I got the window fixed. Like I said before, I was very surprised that they didn't just move that little bar over so it would lock properly. They actually replaced the window. And uh, they ordered another window from the factory once it came in and it only took them about 20 minutes to put it in and they were done. So I'm very happy with that. Um, I want to talk a little bit about gas mileage. If you watch the video where I installed this, I talked about the gas mileage and I wondered what would happen if it would increase the gas mileage at all. In fact, it did. Before I had this cap on here, I was getting about 11 and a half or maybe 12 miles of the gallon, which is really pitiful. That's because the, the air would come over the cab and then down into the open bed of the truck and cause a lot of turmoil. This makes it a lot more aerodynamic. So, but I was wondering what would happen. Well, on my trip to California, I went from 11 and a half to 12 that I was getting before to getting even as high as 14. So I was very happy with that. Um, you know, two miles per gallon doesn't sound like much, right? If you got a car that gets 30 and you get increase it to 32, well, that's not really all that much difference. But in this case, it's like 20 to 25 percent increase. So I'm very, very happy with it because it it really brought my gas mile or my gas expense down by 20 percent. So that was good. Now I know that they. Uh, when I got this, they, there were several quality control issues. The, the back uh, glass didn't fit properly. The side glass didn't lock. But they have an excellent warranty program, and the warranty took care of all of the issues without any additional expense to me. So I'm very happy with that. And I'm very happy now that, you know, when I had that electric, I mean, that uh, masking tape on there, it did the job temporarily so it wouldn't, the window wouldn't open while I was driving and it wouldn't uh, rain in there. But I gotta admit, driving down the road now with it working properly, it really feels good to know that you're not driving down the road with your truck <laughs> held together with duct tape. <laughs> so, yeah, I'm very pleased with it now. <clears throat> so would I buy another one, another Lear cap? Absolutely. <clears throat> they took care of me. And uh, they took care of all the issues. And I like it a lot. Uh, the cost? The initial one that I was looking at was about 1800 and then when I got there I discovered I could buy the extra tall one for an additional 200 and then I added the window in the front that, that is removable for another 100 so the total cost of this was about $2,100. So uh, that's it, Lyric truck caps. I like it. So if you have enjoyed this, if you have found this to be helpful to you, if you're thinking about a, a Lear truck cap, I'd say go ahead and do it. So please like the video if you haven't done that and subscribe, of course, if you haven't done that. Thanks a lot for watching. I'll catch you next time.